you talked about your childhood. Mm-hmm. But what drove you to real estate? I just want to know what drove you. Oh, touchy subjects, touchy subjects, I would say. Um, okay. When you heard me talk about earlier about my father passing away, I knew what it felt like to lose everything. The house that we lived in, we had to move out of because my mother by herself could not afford, right? Um, So we moved with my grandfather. Wonderful man, taught me a lot of life lessons. Within it, two bedroom, five people living. Three people, one room. So I knew what the value of having a roof over your head was. Real estate. Well, I was always intrigued by numbers. Uh, My grandfather, growing up, was an investor. He owned multiple properties around the Birmingham area. We grew up working hard, um, digging uh, sewer lines and cutting down trees, um, putting roofs on, sheetrock work. So I was always interested in real estate or home ownership, you can say so. Turned around, bought my first home when I was 21. Um, So from there, we turned around and got into investments. Um, I was not necessarily interested in the construction part of it, right? More so the numbers and presentation part of it. So I got into becoming a realtor. Hey, I know you've heard, read, seen a lot of crazy things in this business as far as comes to investments in real estate. Give us a brief story on the craziest thing that you have heard or went through or dealt with a client or just whatever. The craziest thing that I've that I've been through is was a case that uh, I won't say any names to keep confidentiality, but um, the craziest thing that I went through was a case, right? There was a lady creating a business and she needed to purchase a home in order to hold that business or host that business. She was going through a divorce or was recently divorced. We got all the way down to it. Um, Everybody was excited for her. We found the perfect home. I worked out the transaction to a T. Everything lined up. Her mother, pardon me, um, told her soon to be ex-husband about her new business venture. He turned around, called her and threatened her and said, I want in. I want a piece of what you got going on. So she had to take a loss on the front end to win on the back end. Hmm. So, so we had to delay everything. She had to take some type of loss in order for us to come back later on down the line once the divorce was finalized in order for her to complete her goals and mission. So just, you know, in the business of when you're dealing with people, there will always be detractors. There will always be people um, throwing interferences in. There will always be people Coming up with something is always something. No one is perfect when you're dealing with people. Um, So, yeah.